Bella. Now, um, one thing we're going to do is we're going to work on her heel work this morning. I want to show you, we're going to start in on a little bit of nose work. And if you can see her nose working right now, um, so I like to usually take the lawnmower and mow a small area with a younger dog. Um, this I'm doing the opposite. This is a, mo a short area that's kind of surrounded by taller stuff. Um, what I'm going to end up doing is we're going to work on heel work and then I've got her food here, um, just a handful of food. It's going to be, I, I haven't fed her yet today, so we're going to feed her after this and we're going to work on her lining for that. But we're going to use a little bit of her food por portions here and we just kind of broadcast them out in there. Now she's not even paying attention, she has no idea, she's not used to watching stuff. Um, but I do, don't think for a second that she doesn't necessarily smell it. Um, so we're gonna come back in here and I'm just gonna let her, and I'll talk about that when we do it, but we're gonna start introducing the idea of a little hunt command for her. But for now, Bella, heel. Let's work on our heel work. Same spot that we've been doing it. I'm gonna take this off. We just got done working with Cody. Heel. I may just grab one of these. I need to adjust this. I had Cody on it, so I'm going to adjust it so that I got a little bit of a visual gauge for where I consider zero pressure, where I consider it being a loose lead. That's when that adjustable tab touches that ring. Bella, heel. We always start out with that left leg, get her attention. I love how she likes to get real tight to me. I don't mind that. If it gets to be too much, I'll just walk into her. I don't want to be tripping over the dog, heel. But I also don't want her way out, flaring out on me. Sit. Don't have the whistle with me today. So we won't work to sit to the whistle, but we're gonna to continue to work to sit to stop. Bella, heel. Good. See how she's tending to fade away from that bag. She's a little cautious. This is those moments when she's not sure of something, she's real cautious. But watch how, watch how we'll walk past it a few times and her boldness will start to kick in. I do think that if it were up to her, she'd go pick something up out of it. Her natural tendency is she just loves retrieving. She's picking stuff up any chance she can get. Now, she's getting a little looser. Starting to almost nip at my pants a little bit. And if she did that, I'd walk into her. But let's just walk right past that bag again and see how she does. See how she's getting a little space between me and her again? She sucks tight when we get next to it though. Good. Sit. No correction needed. She's starting to get a feel for me. When I turn, she's feeling me turn and coming with. Bella, heel. Get her eyes and then we go. See how I swung that collar around her neck? I always want this on the front right shoulder. Now I'm gonna turn into her, and, a, and I'll surprise her. There, good. Now she's really gotta pay attention, because it's been pretty easy, come on, come on. It's been pretty easy when I swing away from her. Easy for her to feel and see that, come in and, and adjust. Now we're gonna turn into her. So not only does she walk past, but I have to bump her, and then she's got to swing around to get back into position to feel the pressure go away. It's not necessarily pressure to her neck. Come on, come on. It's the pressure being out of position. Good, good girl. And you can see how uncomfortable she gets when that happens. She feel. come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come here, come on. There's a little tap, get her to come. Good girl. Bella, heel. So it's her being out of position, she feels that awkwardness. And so now she's starting to, good, very good. Now she's starting to feel that and recognize, don't go flying by because he walks around and turns into me. See how she's holding up? Good. Wrong turn, there's the right turn. Good. Get that loose. Bella, heel. So now I'm gonna go back to this, the old turn to the right. 
and she comes with me. But she does okay because she ends up being, she was going ahead and she ends up behind because I go the other direction. She's behind. Now when I go into her, again, awkward, awkward, awkward. It's the best way to get out of that awkwardness is get back into heel position. Come on. Come on. Awkward. Very good. Very good. Turn, little girl. You're going to run out of real estate. Turn. 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 I'm not going to let her bail out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't. Come on. Come on. Good. Very good. Very good. So help her out. I help her out in that situation. But I'm not going to just quit. I'm not going to let her put her butt down and go, ah, I'm done. No, you're not done. Good. Very good. She's learning. She's learning to be right there is a good spot. Turn, little girl. Good. Heel. And then every once in a while I keep her honest and I go back to what she knows. Good. Swing that around. No. Probably be pushing her, fo her focus a little bit, time-wise. Good. So footwork is what we're just starting with when we go back to the left into her. Now if you're right-handed or you heel the dog to the right, it's the exact same thing you just do at the opposite side. Now, we're gonna kinda of let her think about that. I think we put a lot on her just now to think about and respond. Think about that, respond, think about respond. It was pretty quick. <clears throat> so now I wanna just kinda of let it soak. Let it soak in a little bit. Let her think about that and go, huh, how did I turn that off? How did I, how did I make it feel comfortable when he made me feel uncomfortable? Got back into position. Uh, uh, uh. Little puppy in her there. Sit, sit. Big temptation. This is our first remote sit of the session. We've been working on remote sits, but not necessarily with tennis balls in the past. Good. Put it in your pocket, get it out of sight, get it out of your hands. Good, and then come back in the same way we did without a tennis ball. Pick that lead up the way we left it. Bella, heel. Sit, sit, good, good. Now we work into that steadiness off the ball coming, coming out. Good, good, pick it up, put it away. Good, and from that, I'm gonna work my way around her. Now remember, you get too far away from her, you go too slow when you turn around, she gets, stands up and squirms. So step through quick and then get a little space. Good dog. Good dog. Good. Ease back in. I'm not gonna go for the leash right away. She's gonna come down and tell her she's good. That was real nice. And I'll come down and get the lead. I don't wanna get her so excited that she starts standing up. I think a lot of people come in too fast, put too much pressure on them. They're too excited to praise them because they just did such a nice job. And all of a sudden they spin up and now you lost everything you just gained. <clears throat> you can't finish it with such excitement that they boil over because whatever just happened doesn't register. Good, good. That's, for her, that's all she needs at times is good, good, good girl. That's, she recognized that. Bella, heel. Good, we'll do one more tennis ball. If I had the whistle, I'd work the whistle into it right now. Sit, sit, sit. Good, good. So when the tennis ball rolls out, it becomes more interesting than her old habit of sitting. It's clear, but that we've only been doing it for a little while. Good, good. Good. It's just building on her steadiness, building on her patience, building on her willingness to be okay with exciting things 
happening without, <clears throat> without losing control of her. Bella, Bella. Nope, here comes the puppy. Good, heal. Okay, so now I'm gonna heal her back around. I wanna pick my bag up. I don't want anything else on the ground for this. We're under control and we're just moving over. And I'm gonna take her off the lead and I'm just gonna let her nose do what her nose naturally does. It will take her, and look at her nose right now. It won't take her long probably to find this. Look at that. So I'm just gonna let her do it. We're gonna practice on and off the lead here. This is where we get a lot of nice little reps. Practicing putting it on and off. On and off. Making sure I catch those ears. Becomes uncomfortable, but she doesn't want to throw her head back to get it off quicker. As soon as that happens, I feel like they have a sense of freedom and they're in control and they kind of, they took it off themselves. And when they take it off, they think, huh, I can go do what I want. I don't want dogs to respond any differently when they're on lead than when they're off lead. So that little correction down to her, get that, she's going down to get that leaf and I snap, snap, and she came right back up. I don't want, ah, 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 I don't want a sense of freedom of running off because they're not on lead. Very good. Very good. Now I'm gonna let her nose work again. She got distracted. She's probably smelling it again. And I'm gonna give her a little hunt command. With the little puppies, I say find it because I wanna build excitement. With my older dogs, you'll hear me say lost, lost, lost. It's a calming tone instead of a fire them up mode. If they, if, they, if they know there's something there to be found, sit. Sometimes they can get too excited and they start to work beyond where they should. <clears throat> I think they lose it mentally. They just let their body take over. So I, that's why I switch to a lost, 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 and get that dog to calm down and hunt this area thorough. With these little puppies, I, I kind of want them to fire up and go, there's a reward, there's a reward, there's a reward. I gotta use my nose to get it. So I'm gonna get her into here and I'm gonna say, find it, 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 come on. And I'm just gonna, but I'm gonna wait till she does. Find it, find it, find it. Good girl, good girl, good girl, find it, find it, find it, find it. Find it, find it, good girl, good girl. You can tell she, every time she finds them, the little tail goes fast, find it. But it's all nose work right now. She can't see it. She's got to use her nose to get it. I like, she's not real food motivated. Puppies that are more food motivated, you see it a little bit more. Find it, find it, good girl, good girl. Find it, find it, find it. Now that we use this bigger open area, and it's kind of surrounded by cover. And find it, find it, find it, find it. Good girl, good girl. So every time she finds one, I wanna be there with find it, find it, find it, good girl. Find it, find it, find it, good girl. Like a broken record. So that all she hears <clears throat> when she's using her nose to get rewards is find it, find it, find it. I won't say it out there because there's nothing to be found. But right when she gets into this area, she gets into more kibble, I'll start saying it again repetit repetitively. Just find it, find it, find it. Good girl, good girl. And when she gets the reward, her tail goes and I, I, why would you pee right there? Good girl, good girl, good girl. Find it, find it, find it, good girl. So again, she isn't nearly as motivated on food as some um, but this is a drill I'll do with her like this right now, but then what I'll end up doing is flip-flopping it and I'll mow a circle. I'll probably do it over where we train on the side where the grass is a little bit taller. I'll take the lawnmower out and I'll mow a circle, leaving it a little bit taller in the middle and I'll start putting the food in there and she'll hunt into cover to get rewards. Find it, find it, find it, good girl! She's not, find it, find it, find it. Good girl. Every time she gets a kibble, it's a good girl. 
This is going to transfer to later on. Later on, we're going to put them in a cover and tell them find it, find it, find it. And it's going to be a dummy or a tennis ball instead of some food. But again, there's a handful of food in there. She's eating a small part of it, but it's not as interesting to her. Find it, find it, find it, find it. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Find it, find it, find it. Good girl, find it, find it. Good girl, find it, find it, find it, find it, find it. Good girl, find it, find it. Find it, now she's kind of dialing in. So that's where I want this find it, find it, find it. In the back of her mind, just like Pavlov ringing a bell. It's just classic conditioning. Find it, find it, find it, find it, find it. Find it doesn't mean anything to her now, but what it'll end up meaning eventually is every time she hears it, she's getting this reward. And so when she hears it and doesn't have the reward, she's gonna just start to search that area. Find it, find it, good. Now she moves out so I don't say anything. Find it, find it, good girl, good girl. Find it, find it, find it. And again, I change my command later on to calm them down instead of fire them up. When, especially with a puppy like her, she needs to be a little bit fired up. She doesn't get that into this. Good, find it, find it, find it, find it. Most puppies I've done this with, they don't leave the area. But remember, she, lives, she used to leave her bowl of food. Um, so this is kind of similar to what she used to do with her bowl of food. We've kind of fixed that. Um, she's gotten really good at that. We'll feed her again this morning and film it. Uh, we're working on her lining. Come on, come on, come on. Good girl. Good girl. Find it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Find it, find it, find it, find it, find it, find it, find it. Good girl, good girl. So that's a that's a little drill that we're gonna start working on. Come on, come on, come on. And then I'll recall her out of it. Come here, good girl. So there's another little extension of distraction to recall. Sit, sit, sit. Get her dialed back in. Put the lead back on her. We get more practice with that. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, come on. And then we'll heal her back in, and then we can feed her um, like normal. And with her feeding, we're gaining, our gain that we're getting out of that right now is we're getting a lot better with her lining. Um, we're actually gonna start to semi-steady her back up um, before sending her. Before we went, she was too steady, so we went get her real loose, get her kind of wound up, and send her just so she'll go. Now she's going. So now we're gonna to start to settle her in a little bit before we send her. So we'll do that next and then that's it for her this morning. And then throughout the day, we'll be working on place training and recall and incorporating a lot of these things, heel work, <clears throat> incorporating these formal things into everyday life stuff. So, all right, come on, come on, heel. We had a really good session this morning with Bella. I'm just gonna flip a light on. No, 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 there's a, little natural retrieve with everything. So we had a really nice session with lead work, heel work. We did a little bit of hunt command with a little bit of food. Sit. We did um, some, st uh, some steadiness with some distractions. We used a tennis ball this morning. So we, did, we had a real nice session. We had a real good session with Cody. We had a real good session with our big dogs and Josie, Ben's dog, on some steadiness and some marking. And so now we're just gonna come in and I wanna show you a progress, you know, daily progress, because I just don't want you to see the problems I had with her before, just simply getting her to line to the food, and then all of a sudden she's doing it. So we've been, every time I've been doing these drills, we've been recording it. And you've seen just real little progress, little baby steps. And in between, when, I'm, when I feed her, I've, I've fed her in her kennel a few times, uh, about more than a few times. Don't want her creeping. Don't creep. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. So I don't want her necessarily going on her own. Bam. Good girl. And there's the there's the thing I want. Is a nice, confident run out and get my reward. Um, 
she went through these phases where she wouldn't move and then she would want to go behind me and now she started doing this and so now I'm going to start actually kind of kind of steadying her up just a touch um, like I did there. <clears throat> Good girl. So we'll bring her back. And so she wants to go right away. That's her instinct. So I'm keeping my left hand there. Uh, uh. Sit. Sit. I'm not going to send her quite yet. I'm going to have her be a little patient. So we're starting to go back towards <clears throat> building her patience. We, before we said, screw it, just go. <clears throat> Make a little noise. Doesn't mean we get jumpy. Good girl, positive stuff. Uh, uh, uh. Sit. I knew that move before and I block it that way. I've had to do that before. This is another chance for us to get a little bit of repetition putting this on and off. You can see it a little tighter there. On and off and she doesn't get into this bad habit of throwing her head or fighting me putting it on. I like them reaching up. I like them to reach right up and help me put it on. Right there is where I want it eventually. Right there is where it'll be delivered with a retrieve. So, but I'm gonna, so this time I'm gonna, she's never done this before. Here's how I'm gonna steady her. Feel her forward just a touch. Bella, 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 Bella. Oh, that throws her off. The weight of that collar. Bella, Bella. Good girl, good girl. So that, that's another little thing that kind of threw her off. And she went, oh, it's not so bad. I can do it. The steady tab is going to help us out later with some of our retrieve. If she's a little unsteady. Come on, come on. It also helps me just bump her over, bump her over, bump her over. Come on, come on. So we're using that adjustable leader for more than just heel work. There's a correction. Heel, 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 heel. Bella. Bella, 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 come on, come on, come on. That little bit of weight changes. Watch, watch what will happen here. Come on. This we've gotten good at. Bella. No problem. Good girl. So now because she's gotten good at that, let's, let's add a layer. Quiet over there. Come on, come on, come on. The big dogs haven't eaten yet, so they're a little antsy. Come on. Bella. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So she gets halfway and she goes, oh, this is weird. This feels funny. But she fights through it and is rewarded. Good girl. So let's do one more with that. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. A little recall away from the food. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, good girl. Bella, Bella. Come on. Again, I'm not asking for steadiness. Bella, good girl. I go away from steadiness when we go to something new because it tends to lock her up. So now I'll let her finish out her bowl of food. That'll be it. And we're just going to build off of that. So again, we're just continuing to make take steps and building on the idea of we're going to line her out to that food. Um, prepping for retrieving because her canines are going to be lost pretty quick, her teeth, and then we'll go back to retrieving. But for now, we're getting prepared for it. So that's it. That'll be good for her. And I'm dead.